And, and Marjorie Taylor Greene, the irony of the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, tweeting out this this week uh, is just extraordinary. Let's take a look at this tweet from Anthony Blinken. The United States strongly condemns Russia's conviction of opposition leader Alesky Navalny on politically motivated charges. The Kremlin cannot silence the truth. Navalny should be released. Are you kidding me? Congresswoman, your reaction? Yeah, the amount of hypocrisy, hypocrisy is too much to take, Maria. And I'll, I'll follow up with, uh, with Byron just now. The Department of Justice is now running the 2024 presidential campaign because Bidenomics is failing America. People can hardly afford gas. They can hardly afford groceries. And many seniors on a fixed income are choosing between paying rent and being able to buy their medications. People, people are drowning in inflation, and America is failing under Bidenomics. They have no policies to run on. The only thing they can run on is to continue smearing President Trump's name. And I just want to follow up and say, Maria, the more times they indict President Trump, the more people realize that the Biden administration is a communist regime. And for the first time, Americans are actually seeing what communism really looks like. And, and we have to stand up to this. This is why Republicans in the House, when we come back in September, we have to vote for an impeachment inquiry because it's the right thing to do. Whether Joe Biden took $5 to his name for corrupt business deals or whether he took $40 million, it does not matter. It's up to Republicans to do the right thing and not allow the Department of Justice to win the 2024 presidential election for Joe Biden. 